is Leticia Miral, I'm a paper magician and today I'm going to share with you the different paper techniques I used throughout the years and when they work better. Regular papier mâché technique is the very first techniques I used when I was a teenager. I created a complete decor inspired by Treasure Island in my room. Everything, pirates, uh, accessories. Uh, I was like living in the Admiral Benbow Tavern at the time. And I also used this very typical classical technique in my very first pieces I posted online. I made this huge crocodile nine years ago and he's only made with papier mâché. You can do pretty much everything with this technique made with wallpaper glue and newspaper. But there are pros and cons. The pros are it's very light, it's very inexpensive, you can do pretty much all you want with it. Very, very big characters, big objects. Those are the hand trophies I'm working on at the moment. So for these very big pieces, I like to work with papier mache because it's so much easier. So the main things I don't like with papier mache is it dries super slowly. I will have to wait at least one week or 10 days before being able to, to start painting and working on this hand trophies. I really have to be really patient and over the over the years I was really tired of this thing to have to plan everything a week ahead at least before being able to work on my pieces and uh, that's the thing I really don't like especially in spring in autumn it's really really annoying you can never sculpt and paint everything in a row or in a day even you can't do that with papier mache you really have to wait the other thing i don't really like is you have uh, the printings of the paper and um, and you have all these layers you have to hide all this before working on it and you can add a paste a sort of paste you can add another paper to hide all this to have a very even surface or you can try another technique. So now I really uh, only use it for my very big pieces. Even my dollhouses are not made with this technique. And I'm going to show you how I sculpt my hair, how I do the very, very long ears. Without using anything, you only have to use paper and very, very thick wallpaper glue and it's going to work fine. I'm going to show you that. technique I use and I use almost all the time now is a kind of combination of mulberry paper, wood glue, a bit of tissue sometimes and iron wire. And with these three things I can do all I want. I mainly work now on a smaller scale than I used to and you can do everything with this and the magical magical thing is you can do everything in a row, everything in a day if you want to. You don't have to wait so long, you don't have to wait weeks or days or I don't know how many days before being able to start to work on it and that's so much easier. It makes your work smoother as well. I much prefer it. So I have another video um, on my channel about mulberry paper it's called the magic of mulberry paper you can watch it if you didn't and you will have more explanation about this paper I have a beautiful Japanese doll artist who sent me some samples uh, because she didn't wasn't sure it was this paper I was using and it's called washi paper in Japan and it's it's a Japanese paper actually I didn't know it uh, and I really really love it and here it, it, it comes in tons of colors and you can have gold you can have everything you want I mainly use it in white sometimes other colors but I use it really to sculpt I use it for everything and mainly to sculpt and to do everything on my characters and my dollhouses for the furnitures really everything especially because you can have 
a beautiful definition and a lot of precision you can't really have with papier mache. That's not, it doesn't allow the same um, definition and precision. Another great, great thing with this technique with mulberry paper and wood glue is you don't have to hide everything. Once you've started to sculpt it, uh, I don't have to add another layer of something. Like for the newspaper, the papier mache technique you use, when you use newspaper, you have to hide all these printings or that. Here you don't have to do that. It's already white. You, you have to paint it afterwards. That's all. But that's another thing I really love about this technique. So the cons about this technique would be you can't use it for very, very big scale because this paper is pretty expensive and you, if you wanted to do a big character like my crocodile, for example, I did many, many years ago, I would have to use so many layers of that. It's, it's not worth doing really. The other thing too is wood glue is very heavy, so your character would be, or your whatever you do, would be very, very heavy. Um, perhaps it's not the best thing when you work on a big scale to have something very heavy. So it's really just perfect for middle pieces and small pieces. Mm -hmm.